Good morning, good morning, good morning. Tuesday. Repeats with the cars on because it's frozen. Frozen. Not bad frozen, but frozen nonetheless. This morning's musings is regarding the humble bumblebee. <laughs> the bumblebee must have a larger house than the normal bee because they're considerably larger than a bee. That's something to think about. Also, this is the funniest thing ever, at least today, so far. <laughs> what is the official classification and or scientific name of the bumblebee? The Bumbus Bumbus. <laughs> Bumbus Bumbus. That's going to be the funniest classification of an animal ever, or insect, or whatever it is. A Bumbus Bumbus. That's amazing. So at least that's a good start to the day. Because we were just talking about Bombus Bombus. <laughs> or Bombus Bombus Eye, as, as you'd say. What are you up to today, Peen? Uh, I think it's fairly quiet. Mm -hmm. Van Wise. Um, so, I don't know. I'm just going to be nursing the back you broke yesterday. It's got a bad back. Got a bad back. It's alright, well, after I get, like, walk around for a bit. But like, if you sit down for like 10 minutes, Trying to get up again is awfully painful. Anyway, it's time to get ready for work. I'm going to continue thinking about the Bombers Bombers this morning. <laughs> the Brit Vlog. Nine cat approved. So I just have to tell you this because, like, the weirdest thing has just happened. Um, like, um, I just had a phone call on the work phone. Um asking for uh, Mrs. Clifford, which is, well, was my maiden name. And I'm like, this is weird. Like, firstly, like, why would they, like, have that name and then be ringing me at work? Because I don't give out the works number for anything. But I thought, you know, maybe I have by accident or something. And it's to do with the delivery. Because um, some of my accounts I had before in my maiden name. And, gosh, it's just... On a separate note, changing your name is so hard. Like five, no, four years on, like there's still like some people that insist on not using my married name, honestly. Anyway, so I'm like, oh, well, that was my maiden name. Can I ask what you're calling for? And he says, oh, no, sorry, I think I've got the wrong number. I'm um, trying, I'm just about to deliver a fridge freezer and then gave my mum's address. And I'm like, okay, this is really bizarre. The fridge freezer is for my mum but for some reason you've come through to my work <laughs> and and he's um he told me the number he dialed which is a very similar number to my mum's landline but nothing like the work number here um so i don't know i don't know how he got through that's probably my mum now hang on yeah so that was my mum ringing back she never has her phone when i try and ring her so then she always has to ring me back after um um yeah, so, um, I can't remember how much I told you. <laughs> so basically, he's ringing, he rang a wrong number by accident, but out of like the whole of the county, or the whole of Cheltenham anyway, managed to get through to her daughter's work. How bizarre is that? I can't believe it. And the number that he gave me, this one that he claims to have dialed, is not our telephone number. So, um... But I know we did used to have um, a different number, like when we were with Yellow Pages, because they use a different number, which then transfers it through to your, like, your business number, and you can keep track of any calls, business you get through them. But we haven't been with Yellow Pages for two years, so I'm pretty sure that's disconnected. So it's so bizarre. Anyway. So I'm just waiting now for home time, it's 20 past 5 at the moment, so just 10 minutes. Um, just um, cashing up, doing the last few bits and then I'll start locking up. Um, not being too bad for Tuesday, Tuesdays usually go really slow, but it's not been too bad. And I suppose, like there's not really been much that's gone out, but we've had lots of inquiries and things and I've got um, a few bookings so it's starting to look a bit a bit fuller on the old booking sheet for January now, which is good. Um, I've had two um, 
insurance referrals today. I haven't had any for ages, well it seems like ages, but whenever I get one there always seems to be multiples. What happens with the referral if there's, um, if there's a customer who's looking to hire and they've either got some um, of the more serious endorsements on their license like um, driving without insurance, drink drive convictions, things like that or if they are an older driver um, or a younger driver then you have to refer it to the insurance they don't let us just um, accept it ourselves here so I have to ring up our insurer well, our broker who will then pass on all the details to the underwriters and they say yeah or nay um, so I've had two today one was accepted he's just um, he was a young driver who hadn't held his license for two years two years is our minimum but they accepted him and the second unfortunately has a drink drive um, and although they've accepted him his excess is 1250 pounds 1250 pounds that's like I think the highest I've ever been told that's ouch um, so don't drink and drive people bad Bombas, bombas. <laughs> I've been giggling about that all afternoon. <laughs> Amuses me. Glad you're amused. Bombas, bombas. You're funny. Uh, no, bombas, bombas is funny. I'm going to call our next cat bombas. Yeah. Bombas, bombas. Bombas, bombas. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be hilarious. Oh. You'd be like, bombas, bombas, where are you? Come in. Ah. <laughs> uh, that is funny. Uh, had a good day, Pink? It's been okay. It's been okay. Oh. It's not been a bad day. Cubsy cubs are? It's been alright. We're a tired day today. What about you? Yeah, I'm tired. It's been one of those just sort of lethargic -y days today. Yeah. Did you have um, nothing, nothing eventful then? Nothing eventful, no. Mm. Apart that from like the super weird phone call, which I said about earlier. Oh, you already discussed that, yeah. Yeah, super weird. Super weird, yeah. Yeah. Um, but other than that, pretty uneventful, but all right, really. As Tuesdays go, it was pretty good. It was a tolerable Tuesday. Pete's having email troubles, aren't you, Pete? Yeah. Have you contacted your system administrator? Yeah, he's rubbish. He is crap. He doesn't seem to be bothered, really. He's not. Or, or want to help you. No, he doesn't. Your system administrator's crap. I wouldn't use him again. <laughs> he is free though. He is free, <laughs> but you get what you pay for. Uh, yeah, nothing. Exactly. <laughs> Chastise. <laughs> yeah. Problem between chair and keyboard. There is a problem between the chair and the keyboard. I don't know if anyone's had that. Yeah, if, if, if it work and the IT guy says there's a problem between the chair and the keyboard, <laughs> just think about that one. Also, if you have an ID10T error, I've got quite a, lo a lot of those at work. Get quite a lot of those. Um, don't spoil it, Ping. There we go. <laughs> uh, so, uh, yeah. Anyway, we're going to have just a bit of a chill night tonight. I'm going to end up the vlog early and then probably just go to bed and have a chat and whatever you. So, uh, we shall see everyone tomorrow. But Ping's got half day, so she should be doing something semi interesting. Yeah. Also, we took those bag of clothes to. That cash for clothes pays. Oh, yeah, finally. Got 24 quid. Did not expect to get 24 quid. Yeah. That's quite a lot. Quite a reasonable haul. She's like really grumpy, but. She was a really grumpy Polish lady. She had to check through every bag in case we would like some bricks in it or something. Because <laughs> obviously it goes by weight. But uh, anyway, uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Have a nice evening.